Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician, and if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. <laughs> nice seeing you back. If it's your first time on the channel, welcome. Today, we're gonna talk about something not directly insomnia related, definitely sleep related, and definitely something I get questions about all the time. What's up with those jerky movements that happen just as I'm about to fall asleep? Let's say you're about to go to bed, you are in bed, and you're just about to drift off into sleep, when suddenly you wake up with a jerky movement. It may be a leg, very often a leg, it may be an arm, it could be kind of your whole body. What is that? Well, most likely, again, this is not medical device specific to you, it's just general device, but it may be helpful to you. Most of the time when somebody, just as, as they're about to drift into sleep, wake up because they have a jerky movement, a sudden jerky movement of their body, that is a hypnic jerk. Uh, why those happen, not completely understood, but it is definitely a transitional phenomenon, simply meaning that you know as the brain is going from one stage to another, in this case from wakefulness into sleep, these kind of bizarre things can happen. Um, if, if, the, if the brain is more like locked in a, a mixed state where kind of part of the brain is asleep and part of the brain is awake, things like sleepwalking occur or uh, sleep terrors or confusional arousals. Uh, and we should talk more about that later, by the way. I'm just thinking about it. we should do, definitely do that. But uh, in this case, there's a brief um, kind of event triggered by the transition from wakefulness to sleep, and that is a jerking uh, body movement, hypnic jerk or hypnotic jerk. Um, they are harmless, uh, but can be annoying. Um, I want to say that there's nothing specific I know of that you really can do, except whenever you're tired, uh, anything really seems to get worse in the sleep world, meaning like if you're tired and you have trouble snoring, like you snore more. If you're tired and you have uh, problems with um, uh, restless leg syndrome, then you know, you're, you're, you're like the tingling and like other uncomfortable uh, feelings from your legs tend to be worse. And same thing with hypnic jerks. If you're tired, uh, they tend to be worse. Generally speaking, of course, when it comes to insomnia, being tired is not necessarily bad. Oftentimes it is good to be, you know, getting a good workout and, and be very active during the day in terms of your insomnia. For these hypnic jerks, it may be a little bit of the opposite. But I hope this was helpful to you, just a little bit about uh, this phenomenon. And um, hope to see you back here very soon. If you have any questions, uh, problems, concerns, thoughts, ideas, uh, please leave a comment or find me on Facebook or, um, or uh, email me at insomniainsight at gmail.com. Thank you for today and hope to see you back here very soon. Ciao.